Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Winda Nanda Putri Hi, my name is Aulia Amanda Hello, my name is Indah Lestari Hello, my name is Royan Olivia Lubis Hello, my name is Siti Hajar Hello, my name is Riwah Yuni A noun is a word used for a bullet, person, or thing. Everything which has a name and we talk about it is a noun. Everything is donated by a name and that naming word is called a noun. Here are some examples of noun. For a person, example is man, woman, teacher, John, Mary. For a pledge, example is home, office, town, countryside, America. For things, example is table, car, banana, money, music, love, dog, monkey, and etc. Types of noun. There are many types of noun depending upon some aspect, and among them are proper noun, common noun, concrete noun, abstract noun, collective noun, compound noun, gender specific noun, countable noun, uncountable noun, general noun, verbal noun. And each type will be explained by my friends. Proper noun is the given name of a person or a specific place or things and is always capitalized. For example, Aulia, Suga, Busan, Jeju, Girl, Rover, etc. A proper noun always start with a capital letters. All days and months are proper noun and start with capital letters. For example, Sunday, Monday, January, and March. Names of all person, names of countries, name of ocean are count in category of proper noun. For example, Masal, South Korea, so China Sea, etc. A common noun is the word used for a class of person, place, or things. For example, actor, singer, bank, country, book, language, etc. Common nouns are not capitalized unless used in start of a sentence. There are some exceptions, like in poetry where every word of new lines is capitalized. Something that is personified in poetry is also capitalized. For example, restaurant, dam park, mountain, zoo, etc. Concrete nouns are the things which we can see or touch physically. We can see them, feel them, or touch them. In other words, a concrete noun is something you can perceive with at least one of your senses. Sometimes we name it natural noun. This noun contrasts with abstract category of noun. For example, flower, book, pen, table, etc. Abstract noun or things you can see or touch. Abstract nouns do not have physical existence. These nouns are difficult to guess. Abstract nouns is a word for a concept. Sometimes learners get confused with abstract noun and adjective. Abilities and emotion are abstract noun. Example: bravery, joy, justice. Fear, mistake, determination, etc. The collective noun are words that denote groups, collection, or multitude of something. These noun are used are singular. For example, team, army, concert, herd, pack, swarm. Common nouns are nouns made up of more than one word. For example, corn marcel, pig packet, water bottle, 
Some companies announce are two words, for example, this pip. Some are hyphenated, for example, playoff. Some have become single words, for example, a, a opener. And many of them are currently translation through those stage. Therefore, spelling common nouns can be a nightmare. Some common nouns form their plural by adding an S to the principal word, not necessarily to the end, for example, brother-in-law. Gender-specific nouns are nouns that are definitely male or female, for example, king, fiction, and actress. A bland is a woman, a bland is a man. A countable noun is a noun that can be count in numbers, like one fan, two cars, with both a singular and a plural form. Example in sentences are, this is a table, she eat an apple, I have many friends in my school, there are three cars in my house. Our school has a large number of students compared to the other school. An uncountable noun is a noun without a plural form. For example, oxygen, patience. Such nouns don't include counting. All abstract noun falls under the uncountable category of nouns. For example, in sentences are, I think you don't need her advice. Do you cook with olive oil? I don't have much money. I need a little help now. And then they are taking huge amounts of our money. Dear none. Gerunds are nouns that add ing and that represent actions. Gerunds have verb like properties, but these are used differently in a sentence, unlike verbs. Gerunds are modified with adverbs. Examples: A. Ali is singing a song. B. Ali is fond of singing. In sentence. A. Singing is verb as it's slow action that Ali is performing. Verb with ing are useful by helping verbs is, am, was, were, and others. But in sentence B, singing is not an action being performed. By Ali and not followed by a helping verb. Verbal nouns are nouns derived from verbs and do not have a verb like properties. Example building, drawing, attack. Like their nouns. Verbal nouns are also derived from verbs, but unlike gerunds, they have no verb like properties. In above given example, the verbal noun rising is not showing any verb like qualities. It is not modified by a determiner and then adjective or the encarmonial, and it requires a proposition of to link to the flag. In contrast, in the sentence rising. The flag carefully is much difficult. The word racing, which despite being spelled the same, is now a gerund, a showing verb like qualities. More specifically, it's modified with an adverb or carefully. Verbal nouns are usually preceded by a, or, and, or the. And follow by a preposition example of in for. This makes them pretty innovation from a word con perspective. Also, 
A sentence with verbanons can often sound stuffy. How far verbanons can give an air for formality or provide emphasis. So, we should all care about verbanons for two reasons. Number one, replacing verbanons with verbs and gerunds will reduce your word count and improve sentence flow. Number two, sentence featuring pure verbal nouns could portray you as stuffy, or bad, or ultra-tative, or good.